Hello and welcome back to the channel. Something completely new for you today. I have a bit of a cold, but hopefully we can plow on through and make some awesome content. So in this series coming up, we're going to talk about something completely different. So we are going to be trying to merge some of my passion service now and running slash fitness. So we're looking at potentially creating a brand new app in ServiceNow to track my running goals and fitness. Now, as you can see behind me, there's a mug a shot of myself, uh, a video that I did over 10 years ago. So I have been trying to get on the fitness train for a very long time, um, unsuccessfully mainly, but uh, there you go. So yes, um, I'd like to show you this video from 10 years ago. It's something that I used to do quite often is to do like a video blog of my uh, fitness progress. And uh, yeah, it might be just a little funny to, to watch. Here we go. Um, at the moment, I'm an incredible 209 pounds. And I want to get down to about 175. So basically, I'm losing weight just purely to look better, uh, feel better and um, generally get fitter as well. So it didn't I'm going to be doing mate. a lot of sports, eating properly, and uh, generally just kind of keeping this video diary uh, every day. So uh, to keep you guys informed, uh, maybe play this back afterwards and probably laugh at how fat my face is. Yes, you do have a fat face, mate. Um, and it hasn't changed. So there you go. There you go. Hello. <laughs> So, yeah, I've obviously, like I say, I've been doing this for quite a while and trying to, you know, there's so many redos of me like, right, this time is the time where we get, where we managed to get down to your goal weight. And I'm still around about the same weight I was back then, 10 years ago. But I think this is quite common, right? Um, so I'm, I'm looking to see how I can use ServiceNow to um, help my journey towards fitness. Um, so I've been doing a little bit of analysis to see what we could actually achieve and first of all um, anybody who you know is a runner or um, you know is, is into into fitness and cardio and that sort of thing will know it doesn't count unless it's on Strava so over the years I've been able to collect my data and um, I think those who, who know and use Strava is it's it there's so much data information on there um, that you can just spend hours analysing your runs and your fitness to see how you can improve over time um, and things like that. And, yeah, so you can see going back to, you know, 2014, 2013 and times where I really struggled to get under 5K, um, times where I've had, you know, failed runs, where, I've, you know, just run out of steam or whatever or park run DNFs. Um, you know, I've, I've come a long way and it comes in, in waves, you know, this kind of uh, fitness kick um, and, you know, when you stop for a while, then you struggle to get back into the kind of, um, it, back into the swing of things, really. Um, so, yeah, so it's all about the bling, really, isn't it, really? This is one the one, uh, a 10K that I did last week um, with Russell um, in Milton Keynes. Um, so, yeah, it's all about the bling. It's all about being able to um, mentally and physically be in the right place for certain runs anyway. So, um, yeah, I love it um and it's a it's a fantastic challenge uh for me personally so yeah so i've collected so much data over the years on you know on strava and it has so much information more information that i can deal with anyway so maybe an app to you know pick the bones out of that to try and uh, determine what I need to do next. Maybe we can introduce some AI to it, to building up, um, you know, a really smart app showing your performance levels, and you know, maybe some suggestions of what to do next week for, oh, do some hill repeats and do some interval and do this, and that's what's going to get your fitness up. So maybe we could just plug in all of this data and create this really smart app. And, you know, if it's good enough, I might ask some of my, you know, colleagues and friends to, to see if they can sign up to my app as well and see what they think. So that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? So, yeah, this is going to be a bit of a longer term uh, project, this one. Um, but there is some interesting uh, APIs available. So there is a Strava API. Um, so I don't think this will be purely no code, this one. Um, not sure there's a way of getting around that. But again, we'll explore the possibilities. Um, we will try and build this app. Um, maybe f out of Utah, the latest ServiceNow release, 
and see what functionality we have available at our fingertips. In addition to that, something that I have done in the past, um, but not so often these days, is obviously your fitness and your, your weight and things like that. Um, you know, exercise is just one part of it. The other part of it is your uh, eating habits and things like that. So my fitness pal has always been a leader in this sort of space of tracking, you know, your calories, your proteins and, you know, sugars and whatever else. Um, and, yeah, it's a huge part of your um, your daily lives and a huge part of being able to analyse what you need to eat before races or what you need to eat in a day, how many calories per day you have, how is that aligned to your performance and things like that. It's all really interesting stuff. But obviously, I need to pick that up in terms of being able to keep storing that information. But it does look like there's also a nice REST API that we can use for that too. So this is my idea. Um, I want to create this really cool app. And I may not release these videos until I at least got it quite far down the line. So um, that would be interesting. So, yep, stay tuned. Hopefully, this will be the first video of many. Hopefully, I won't be full of cold in the next few videos. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, do join us. Hopefully this will be interesting. It's something completely different and using ServiceNow for a completely different use case. Um, but yeah, keep watching.